Hi there, my name's Desiree, and this video I'm going to be talking about isotopes and ions for our video 2 quiz. Uh, first of all, with isotopes, um, they are the same atom, just a different atomic weight. And with differing atomic weights, that just means we add in neutrons in. We don't add in the protons, we don't add in the electrons. Best one to use to describe it would be carbon. So in a normal carbon atom, we have six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Um, this one is the most stable of those um, isotopes just because that atom, like everything cancels each other out. It's happy. Nothing's wonky in there. Anyway, with getting to the other isotopes of carbon-13 and carbon-14, again, we're adding neutrons. So with carbon-13, again, six and six for protons and electrons, seven neutrons. And then with carbon-14, six protons, eight neutrons, and six electrons. So what starts to make these isotopes unstable is sometimes that nuclei just decomposes and when it decomposes it gives off energy or it starts to give off fragments of itself and by doing so most of the time that is in the form of radiation so that's why we try to be careful with it because even though they're the same carbon atom which means they probably would do the same function it's just that nuclei stability differs anyway now talking about ions best one to use would be sodium and chloride um, becoming ionic in water. Anyway, when that happens, a normal sodium um, atom has 11 protons, 11 electrons, 12 neutrons. Um, so if you were to set up the Bohr model, um, that outermost shell only has one valence electron. With chlorine you have 17 protons 17 electrons and then 18 neutrons again that uh, model shows that there would be seven valence electrons and one atoms are most happiest i guess i would say is when their outermost shells are filled so the best way that sodium and chlorine fill their outer their outer shells is that the sodium will then give up an electron to the chlorine because sodium has given up an electron given up a negative charge they drop down to um 11 protons 12 neutrons 10 electrons by getting rid of an electron you're now having a more positive charge to that ion um because chlorine took the uh electron gaining more negative particles so now they're at 17 protons 18 neutrons and 18 electrons that atom or that ion now becomes negatively charged and be now that we have a positive and negative charge these ions attract to each other forming sodium chloride and sodium chloride is super important in the body it can help us um, send nerve pulses it helps us contract relax our muscles and it's also very important in maintaining balance of water and minerals in our bodies to maintain a sense of homeostasis thank you